Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer. Today we're going to introduce our new, new XI M Tower iGamer based on the new generation Core i7 uh, Intel Sandy Bridge uh, 2600K. Uh, the 2600K is an unlocked uh, CPU that can be clocked, uh, you know, at the various spectrum of frequency. Uh, for this uh, video, we had clocked it at 4.9 gigahertz. This is not a commercially available version even though you guys can eventually clock it at that level, but uh, we offer a commercially available uh, 4.1 and 3.9 gigahertz as well. Let's take a look at the case to begin with. Uh, we choose a Cooler Master HAF922. It's a mid-size tower. Uh, from the top uh, has a two um, USB 2.0 and eSATA interface plus analog uh, audio in and out. As all the HAF cases from Cooler Master has a great uh, uh, ventilation, uh, you can see uh, the two empty uh, five and a quarter slots has uh, grid. Uh, there is a, an extra slot that is taken by two USB 3.0 um, interface, 20 centimeter fan on the on the bottom as well. There is a 20 centimeter fan on the top of the case. Um, we couple this with a. Um, Nice uh, um, Samsung LED monitor, 24 uh, inches, the latest and greatest in, uh, in technology. The monitor is very slim, uh, very low power consumption, and exceptional brightness is, is great for games. Um, let's take a pause and take a look inside the case of what, uh, what we got. Thank you. Okay, now the case is open, and as we can see here, the... Um, Cooler Master V6 is the newest uh, e thing for um, overclocking. It has two 12-centimeter uh, fan. We found uh, this type of uh, air cooling system to be uh, equally or superior in efficiency to the um, water cooling devices as far as thermal conveyance and also as reliability, of course. Um, the RAM, uh, we installed it 16 gig of RAM here, uh, DDR3, um, 1333. Uh, it can be expanded to up to uh, 32 gig. And the vid video of choice is the newest and greatest uh, um, EVGA classified GeForce GTX 590. The 590 is the uh, latest model from NVIDIA and the EVGA uh, brand has one of the highest uh, clock uh, available for the GPUs for the uh, graphics processing unit. In this video card, we have two GPUs and a total of three gigabyte of video RAM DDR5. The uh, video card is capable of driving four monitors or uh, drive uh, drive in um, um, SLI mode internally, or if connected with a second video card, uh, we'll be able to have a quad SLI configuration. Um, power supply of choice is the Cooler Master uh, 1000 Watt Silent Pro M. is a modular power supply, uh, so it allows us to have uh, uh, the cables that are only required for this uh, installation, for this build, and um, it keeps the case uh, clean and uh, the ventilation to the max. Um, we have uh, two uh, Western Digital Velocity Raptor 10,000 RPM um, hard drives in a, a RAID 0 configuration that uh, allows uh, 1.2 terabyte of net disk space at high uh, speed. The motherboard of choice is uh, ASUS P8P67 Deluxe. It's one of the uh, most uh, comprehensive motherboard available for the Sandy Bridge uh, new, uh, Core i7. Uh, in particular, he has uh, three PCIe 16X Two of them are running at 8x when both populated, and uh, one only will run at 16x. The third one uh, is a 16x format, but will run at either 1x or 4x, according to the um, uh, peripheral installed there. In addition to, the, to uh, that, the motherboard has two PCI32 and the two PCIe 1x, of, of which we can see one here. Another one is underneath the um, video card. The motherboard has uh, uh, four SATA 6 gig, the new SATA 3, and also four of the old uh, SATA 3 gig, SATA 2 interfaces as far as this goes. has one power eSATA that's quite interesting and is in the back, and an eSATA interface for external um, hard drives. 
uh, two of FireWire port, uh, the 1394A, and uh, eight USBs, of which uh, some are USB uh, 3.0. Uh, in addition to uh, that, the, uh, this motherboard also has a Bluetooth capability, and that is uh, uh, pretty new and interesting for a desktop, so allows it to all the connection of all portable devices, and also has two gigabit network. Uh, uh, the case uh, um, has a um, light controllable fan, so you can turn the, the light on, off and on, and the, um, also the Cooler Master has the capability of changing the color, so for, for you guys that don't like uh, any light, uh, this is, is a plus. Let's take a look at the performance on the video here. Um, we can see that the 3D Mark, um, the 3D Mark score is pretty high, it is a, a P430 43,138, and that um, thanks to the high clock speed and the, and the very high efficiency of the video card. Um, down below we can see the CPU Z. The CPU is running at 4.9.3 megahertz at this point. 4 point I mean 4.9 thousand point three megahertz, so 4.9 gigahertz. And uh, there is a nice um, show of the of the level two and three of the cache. There's a eight megabyte of level 3 and 4 uh, times 256 for the level 2 cache and then a split at level 1 of data and code. Uh, with the new uh, Core i7 is a very interesting architecture, very efficient from the, um, from the power consumption and we consider that a winner. Uh, for more information on this uh, uh, unit, just visit our website at xicomputer.com. Thank you very much.